And Eric and Megan Wetzel are teachers in the Waukee School District. And earlier this month, they went through the worst possible situation when Eric suffered a heart attack. Griffin Wright joins us now with more on what turned out to be an incredibly positive story there for the Wetzels. Good morning, Griffin. Good morning, Andy. So as soon as Eric collapsed, his wife Megan was there and she sprang into action. I got to talk to them about their, their experience and what they want the public to know. On the morning of August 4th, Eric Wetzel went out for a run and when he got home, he collapsed. It happened that fast. He looked lightheaded and he instantly collapsed. The Wetzels didn't know it then, but Eric was having a heart attack. Later on, they'd find out it was a Widowmaker heart attack, which has a 12% survival rate for people who have one outside of a hospital. Luckily, Megan took action immediately, calling 911 and starting CPR. Adrenaline kicks in. Um, I said I would never want to listen to my 911 call because I, I would never want to hear that in my voice again. Seeing my husband on the ground turning blue and thinking, am I watching my husband die right now? Um, is something that, you know, will stay with me forever. Miraculously, all the variables from Megan jumping into action to the paramedics arriving in less than five minutes and the emergency room staff being ready for Eric's arrival all fell into place. If any of those things had been different, Eric would have died. We have to recognize the importance of what uh, his wife did in terms of recognizing it and acting quickly on it and performing CPR, maintaining that perfusion to the brain while help is on the way. Dr. Abdul Baki is the interventional cardiologist that operated on Eric when he got to the hospital. In his line of work, every second counts when it comes to treating someone suffering a heart attack. Bystander initiated CPR in the public as soon as a person goes down is really critical. It's probably the most important thing that improves their outcome and gives them a chance for survival. That's Dr. Nick Kleesner, an emergency physician at Iowa Methodist Medical Center. Dr. Kleesner has seen many heart attack victims come to the emergency room, and a critical part of their survival is a bystander performing CPR, even if they're not certified. Even if you had taken none of those and all you've watched is Grey's Anatomy and, um, and TV shows, you can still um, emulate what you see on TV. It's pretty simple, and if you haven't seen any of those, I'll tell you right now, you push right in the middle of the chest and you push at a beat of 100 beats a minute, which is the rhythm to staying alive by the Bee Gees. So you just sing it in your head and push right in the middle as hard as you can until paramedics get there. That will make a big difference. Another important part to surviving a heart attack is recognizing the signs, something that isn't always easy. So really the feeling that, that I felt the chest tightening that morning um, didn't feel a whole lot different than what I had felt on previous mornings. I asked him, like, what was your pain level when you were feeling those chest pains? And you said, what, like, like a three or a four a three or out four. of ten. Symptoms of heart attacks include things like chest pains, lightheadedness, shortness of breath, among others, and they can happen to anyone. I think I've scared a lot of people yes. into thinking that <laughs> it can happen to anybody at any point. Right. You know, and so just to really take it seriously and definitely don't hesitate to visit your doctor if you feel any sort of discomfort. Now that Eric is recovering, the Wetzels are focused on sharing their incredible story of survival. I, I just think that sharing our story with, I mean, you get that word out to anybody, you know, anybody who hears what we have to say, you know, I mean, shoot, that could be the difference in right. saving somebody else's life down the road. Learning CPR, even something as simple as watching a YouTube video on it, made the difference between life and death for the Wetzels. And if you ever find yourself or a loved one in crisis, it can save you too. Now, I went to Waukee, and Eric was actually my tennis coach, and without Megan's heroic action and quick thinking, I wouldn't be able to do a story with him. I'd be going to his funeral. So it really shows how important doing CPR, learning CPR, and also acting quick in these situations is. Right, and, and many of us uh, sending our kids back to school, uh, maybe with some time freeing up, or at least just kind of with that learning mindset uh, at hand, uh, signing up for a CPR course, is a great idea at this time of the year. We see the results that that can provide. Thank you, Griffin.